Hare Krishna everyone. Welcome back to the daily readings of Srila Prabhupada's books where we stay transcendental no matter what's happening even on the eve of the election in America. The historic, what everybody's talking about is the historic election that could change the course of the country and the world. Of course, we read Srimad Bhagavatam and Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita and we read the actual events that have changed uh, tangibly the history of the universe. So it's nice to be in the know and the way to stay in the know is to stay right here hearing Srila Prabhupada's transcendental uh, translations and the famous Bhaktivedanta purports. Okay, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur had something to say, a very poetic, a beautiful glorification of Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita, and it went like this. In due course, Mahapralaya, devastating floods, will inundate the entire universe. If you attempt to survive <clears throat> by swimming in that deluge, then do not neglect to take hold of Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam, and Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita. Or, if you, cannot, if you cannot hold all three, then release Bhagavad Gita. If necessary, you may also relinquish Srimad Bhagavatam, but under no circumstances release your hold on Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita. For if this one book remains, then the flood can do no actual damage, because after it is subsided, the message of Shastra can be revived from Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita alone, it being the essence of all Shastra. Jaya Jai Sri Chaitanya Jai Nityananda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gora Bhakta Vinda Jaya Jai Sri Chaitanya Jai Nityananda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gora Bhakta Vinda Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya <coughs> Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gora Bhakta Vinda So we've reached the 17th chapter of Madhya Lila. We're going to start on text 218. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is now taking his tour of the 12 forests of Vrindavan. <clears throat> Well, actually, Vrindavan is one of the twelve forests. He's taking a tour of the Braj Mandala, uh, twelve forests in Braj Mandala. Text 218. When the Lord saw the bluish necks of the peacocks, his remembrance of Krishna immediately awakened and he fell to the ground in ecstatic love. 2.19 When the Brahmana saw that Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was unconscious, he and Balabhadra Bhattacharya took care of him. 2.20 They hastily sprinkled water over the Lord's body. Then they took up his outer cloth and began to fan him with it. 2.21 they then began to chant the holy name of Krishna into the Lord's ear. When the Lord regained consciousness, he began rolling on the ground. Text 222 When the Lord rolled on the ground, sharp thorns injured his body. Taking him on his lap, Balabhadra Bhattacharya pacified him. 223 the mind of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wandered in ecstatic love of Krishna. He immediately stood up and said, Chant, chant. Then he himself began to dance. Being thus ordered by the Lord, both Balabhadra Bhattacharya and the Brahmana began to chant the holy name of Krishna. Then the Lord 
dancing and dancing, proceeded along the path. Text 225 The Brahmana was astounded to see the symptoms of ecstatic love exhibited by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He then became anxious to give the Lord protection. 226 Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mind was absorbed in ecstatic love at Jagannath Puri. But when he passed along the road on the way to Vrindavan, that love increased a hundred times. 227 The Lord's ecstatic love increased a thousand times when he visited Mathura, but in, it increased it a hundred thousand times when he wandered in the forests of Vrindavan. 228-229 When Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was elsewhere, the very name of Vrindavan was sufficient to increase his ecstatic love. Now, when he was actually traveling in the Vrindavan forest, his mind was absorbed in great ecstatic love, day and night. He ate and bathed simply out of habit. 2.30 Thus I have written a description of the ecstatic love Lord Chaitanya manifested in one of the places he visited while walking through the twelve forests of Vrindavan. To describe what he, actu what he experienced everywhere would be impossible. Lord Ananta writes millions of books elaborately describing the transformations of ecstatic love experienced by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in Vrindavan. Since Lord Ananta himself cannot describe even a fragment of these pastimes, I am simply pointing, pointing out the direction. 233. The whole world became merged in the inundation of the pastimes of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. One can swim in that water to the extent that he has the strength. 234. Sri Rupa Raghunatha Padayada Ash Chaitanya Charitamrita Kahe Krishna Das Praying at the lotus feet of Sri Rupa and Sri Raghunath, always desiring their mercy, I, Krishna Das, narrate Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita following in their footsteps. Thus end the Bhaktivedanta purports to Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita, Madhulila, 17th chapter, describing the Lord's traveling to Vrindavan. Jai Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ki jai. Sri Vrindavan Dham ki jai. Sri Gormant Sri Mandal Braj Mandalam Prikrama ki jai. Sri Kartik Vrat ki jai. Gaur Premanandi. Hari Hari Bo. Okay. I clapped a little softer now because someone gave me feedback that when I clap really loud like I normally do close to this microphone, it's deafening. So thank you for that advice, whoever it was. I can't remember who it was. Anyway, let's go forward. Chapter 18, Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's visit to Vrindavan. <clears throat> The following summary of the 18th chapter is given by Śrīla Bhaktivinoda Thakur in his Amrita Pravaha Bhāsya. In the village of Arit Gram, Śrī Chaitanya Mahāprabhu discovered the transcendental lakes known as Radha Kund and Shama Kund. He then saw the deity Haridev in, at Govardhan village. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had no desire to climb Govardhan Hill because the hill is worshipped as Krishna. The Gopal deity could understand the mind of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Therefore, on the plea of being attacked by Muslims, Gopal transferred himself to the village of Gantuli Gram. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu then went to Gantuli Gram to see Lord Gopal. Some years later, 
Lord Gopal went also went to Mathura, to the house of Vitaleshwara, and stayed there for one month just to give an audience to Srila Rupa Goswami. After visiting Nandishwara, Pavana Sarovara, Sheshashayi, Kela Tirtha, Bandirvan, Badravan, Lohavan, and Mahavan, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went to Gokula and then finally returned to Mathura. Seeing a great crowd in Mathura, he moved his residence near Akruragat, <clears throat> and from there he went every day to Vrindavan to see Kali Radha. Dashashwadiya Dvadashit Dvadashaditya Ghat, Keshi Ghat, Rasastali, Chiragat, and Amlitala. <clears throat> At Kaliya Lake, many people mistook a fisherman for Krishna. When some respectable people came to Sri Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, they expressed <clears throat> their opinion <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> that when one takes sannyas, he becomes Narayana. Their mistake was corrected by the Lord. In this way, their Krishna consciousness was awakened and they could understand that a sannyasi is simply a living entity and not the Supreme Personality of Godhead. When Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took his bath at Akruvaragat, he, he submerged himself in the water for a long time. Balabhadra Bhattacharya decided to take Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to Prayag after visiting the holy place known as Sorokchetra. While stopping near a village on the way to Prayag, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu fainted <coughs> in ecstatic love. Some Patan soldiers who were passing through saw Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and falsely concluded <clears throat> that the Lord's associates, Balabhadra Bhattacharya and others, had killed the Lord with a poison named Dutura and, they were, and, they were, and were taking his wealth. Thus the soldiers arrested them. However, when Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu regained his senses, his associates were released. He talked with a person who was supposed to be a holy man in the party. From the Koran, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu established devotional service to Krishna. Thus the leader of the soldiers, named Vijuli Khan, surrendered to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and he and his party became devotees of Lord Krishna. The same village today is known as the village of Patan of Patan Vaishnavas. After bathing in the Ganges at Soro, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu arrived at Prayag at the confluence of three rivers, the Ganges, Yamuna, and Saraswati. Text 1. <clears throat> Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu traveled all over Vrindavan and pleased all living entities, moving and non-moving, with his glances. The Lord took much personal pleasure in seeing everyone. In this way, Lord Goranga traveled in Vrindavan. Text 2. <clears throat> All glories to Lord Gorachandra. All glories to Nityananda Prabhu. All glories to Advaita Prabhu. And all glories to all the devotees of Lord Chaitanya, headed by Srivas Thakur. Text 3. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu danced in ecstasy, but when he arrived at Aryagram, his sense perception was awakened. Purport Aryagram is also called Arishtagram. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu understood that in that village, Arishtasura had been killed by Sri Krishna. While there, he inquired about Radha Kund but no one could tell him where it was. The Brahmana, the Brahmana accompanying him could also not ascertain its whereabouts. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu could then understand that the holy places known as Radha Kund and Shama Kund were at that time lost 
to everyone's vision. He therefore discovered Radha Kund and Shama Kund, which were two reservoirs of water in two paddy fields. Although there was very little water, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was omniscient and could understand that formerly these two ponds were called Sri Radha Kund and Shama Kund. In this way, Radha Kund and Shama Kund were discovered. Text 4 <clears throat> Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu asked the local people, Where is Radha Kund? No one could inform him, and the Brahmana accompanying him did not know either. The Lord then understood that the holy place called Radha Kund was no longer visible. However, being the omniscient Supreme Personality of Godhead, he discovered Radha Kund and Shama Kund in two paddy fields. There was only a little water, but he took his bath there. Text 6 When the people of the village saw Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu taking his bath in those two ponds in the middle of the paddy fields, they were very much astonished. The Lord then offered his prayers to Sri Radha Kund. Of all the gopis, Radharani is the dear most. Similarly, the lake known as Radha Kund is very dear to the Lord because it is very dear to Srimati Radharani. 8. Just as Srimati Radharani is most dear to Lord Krishna, so her lake, known as Radha Kund, is also very dear to Him. Of all the gopis, Srimati Radharani is certainly the most beloved purport. This is a verse from Padma Purana. Text 9 In that lake, Lord Krishna and Srimati Radharani used to sport daily in the water and have a rasa dance on the bank. Text 10 Indeed, Lord Krishna gives ecstatic love like that of Srimati Radharani to whoever bathes in that lake even once in his life. Text 11 The attraction of Radha Kund is as sweet as that of Srimati Radharani. Similarly, the glories of the Kund lake are as great as Srimati Radharani's. Text 12 Because of its wonderful transcendental qualities, Radha Kund is as dear to Krishna as Srimati Radharani. It was in that lake that the all opulent Lord Sri Krishna performed his pastimes with Srimati Radharani with great pleasure and transcendental bliss. Whoever bathes just once in Radha Kund attains Srimati Radharani's loving attraction for Krishna. Who within this world can describe the glories and sweetness of Sri Radha Kund? Purport. This verse is found in the Govinda Lilamrita 7.102. Text 13. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu thus offered prayers to Radha Kund. Overwhelmed by ecstatic love, he danced on the bank remembering the pastimes Lord Krishna performed on the bank of Radha Kund. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu then marked his body with tilak made from the mud of Radha Kund and with the help of Balabhadra Bhattacharya he collected some of the mud and took it with him. Flex 15 Text 15 From Radha Kund Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went to Samanas Lake when he saw Govardhan Hill from there, he was overwhelmed with joy. 16. When the Lord saw Govardhan Hill, he immediately offered obeisances, falling down on the ground like a rod. He embraced one piece of rock from Govardhan Hill and became mad. 17. Mad with ecstatic love, the Lord came to the village known as Govardhan. 
There he saw the deity named Haridev and offered his obeisances unto him. Text 18 Haridev is an incarnation of Narayana and his residence is on the western petal of the lotus of Mathura. 19. Mad with ecstatic love, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu began to dance before the Haridev, Haridev de deity. Hearing of the Lord's wonderful activities, all the people came to see him. 20. <clears throat> the people were astonished when they saw Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's ecstatic love and personal beauty. The priests who served the Haridev, Haridev deity offered the Lord a good reception. 21. At Brahmakund, the Bhattacharya cooked food, and the Lord, after taking his bath at Brahmakund, accepted his lunch. Text 22. That night, the Lord stayed at the temple of Haridev, and during the night, he began to reflect. 23. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu thought, Since I shall not at any time climb Govardhan Hill, how shall I be able to see Gopal Roy? 24. Thinking in this way, the Lord remained silent, and Lord Gopal, knowing his contemplation, played a trick. 25. Coming down from Govardhan Hill, Lord Gopal granted an interview to Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who was unwilling to climb the hill, thinking himself a devotee of Lord Krishna. 26. Gopal stayed in a village called Anukutagram on Govardhan Hill. The villagers who lived in that village were mainly from Rajasthan. Purport. The village named Anukutagram is referred to in the Bhakti Ratnakara fifth wave Gopa Gopi Munjai Yena Kautuka Apara Ehetu Anyora Nama Se Ihara Anukuta Stana E Deki Srinabas Srinibas E Stana Darshanehoi Purna Abhilash Here all the gopis and gopas enjoyed wonderful pastimes with Sri Krishna. Therefore, this place is called Aniyor. The Anakuta ceremony was celebrated here. O Srinivas, whoever sees this place has all his desires fulfilled. It is also stated, Kundera Nikata Deka Nivida Kanana Etai Gopal Chila Haya Sangopana. Look at the dense forest near the Kund. It was there that Gopal was concealed. Also, the Stavavali, Rajavila Stava, 75, by Raghunath Das Goswami states, Rajendra Varyapita Bojam Uchchaya, Dritva Brihat Kayam Aga Hrirukta. Varena Radham Chalayan Bibumte Yatrana Kutam Yadaham Prapadye. When, when Nanda Maharaj offered a large quantity of food to Govardhan Hill, Krishna assumed a gigantic form and eagerly invited everyone to ask boons from him. Then, deceiving even Shimati Radharani, he ate all the offered food. Let me take shelter of the place known as Anukuta, where Lord Krishna enjoyed these pastimes. 27. One person who came to the village informed the inhabitants, the Turkish soldiers are now preparing to attack your village. 28. Flee this village tonight and do not allow one person to remain. Take the deity with you and leave, for the Muslim soldiers will come tomorrow. 29. Hearing this, all the villagers became very anxious. They first took Gopal 
and moved him to a village known as Gantuli. 30. The Gopal deity was kept in the house of a Brahmana and his worship was conducted secretly. Everyone fled and thus the village of Andakuta was deserted. Text 31. Due to fear of the Muslims, the Gopal deity was moved from one place to another again and again. Thus giving up his temple, Lord Gopal would sometimes live in a bush and sometimes in one village after another. Text 32 In the morning, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took his bath in a lake called Manasa Ganga. He then circumambulated Govardhan Hill. Just by seeing Govardhan Hill, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu became ecstatic with love of Krishna. While dancing and dancing, he recited the following verse. Of all the devotees, Hantayam Adralabala, Harirasavayo, Yad Rama Krishna Charana Spadashap Pramodaha, Manam Tanoti Sahago Ganayos to Yoryat, Pani Yasuya Vasakanda Nakanda Mulahi. Of all, the, of all the devotees, this Govardhan hill is the best. O oh, my friends, this hill supplies Krishna and Balaram, as well as their calves, cows, and cowherd friends, with all kinds of necessities. Water for drinking, very soft grass, caves, fruits, flowers, and vegetables. In this way, the hill offers respects to the Lord. Being touched, by the lotus feet of Krishna and Balaram, Govardhan Hill appears very jubilant. Purport This is a quotation from Srimad Bhagavatam 10.21.18. It was spoken by the gopis when Lord Krishna and Balaram entered the forest in the autumn. The gopis spoke among themselves and glorified Krishna and Balaram for their pastimes. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu then took his bath in a lake called Govinda Kund, and while he was there, he heard that the Gopal deity had already gone to Gantuli Gram. 36. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu then went to the village of Gantuli Gram and saw the Lord Gopal deity. Overwhelmed by ecstatic love, he began to chant and dance. As soon as the Lord saw the beauty of the Gopal deity, he was immediately overwhelmed by ecstatic love. And he recited the following verse. He then chanted and danced until the day ended. Purport Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur gives the following information about Govinda Kund. There is a village named Aniyor on Govardhan Hill a little distant from the village of Paita. Govinda Kund is situated near here and there are two temples to Govinda and Baladev there. According to some, Queen Padmavati excavated this lake. In the Bhakti Ratnakar fifth wave, the following statement is found. Shri e Shri Govinda Kund Mahima Aneka Eta Indra Koile Govindera Abhisheka. Govinda Kund is exalted for its many spiritual activities. It was here that Indra, defeated by Lord Govinda, offered prayers to him and bathed him. In the book Stavavali, Rajavila Stava 74, the following verse is found. With humility caused by great fear, Indra took hold of the lotus feet of Lord Krishna and in the company of a Surabhi cow performed his coronation festival by bathing him with the waters of the heavenly Ganges River. <clears throat> <clears throat> Thus Lord Krishna's kingship over the cows became splendidly manifest. 
I pray that Govinda Kund, the lake created by that ceremonial bath, may eternally appear before my eyes. Also, in the Mathura Kanda, it is stated, Yatra Bhishikto Bhagavan Bhagona Yaduvairina Govinda Kundam Tajjatam Snana Matrina Mokshadam Simply by bathing in Govinda Kund, one is awarded liberation. This lake was produced when Bhagavan Sri Krishna was bathed by Lord Indra. Gantuli Gram is situated near the two villages Bilachu and Gopalpur. According to hearsay, Radha and Krishna first met here. In the Bhakti Ratnakar, fifth wave, it is stated, Sakhi Dunha Vastre Ganti Dila Sangopane the two concealed themselves by tying their outer garments together. It is also stated, Paguya Laya Keha Ganti Kuli Dila. Were they, were they Paguya? They undid the knot. For this reason, the village is known as Gantuli. Text 38. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, May the left arm of Sri Krishna, whose eyes are like the petals of a lotus flower, always protect you. With his left arm, he raised Govardhan Hill as if it were a toy. Purport This verse is found in the Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu 2.1.62 39 Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu saw the Gopal deity for three days. On the fourth day, the deity returned to his own temple. 40. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu walked with the deity of Gopal and he chanted and danced. A large and jubilant crowd of people also chanted the transcendental name of Krishna, Hari, Hari. 41. The Gopal deity then returned to his own temple and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu remained at the bottom of the hill. Thus, all the desires of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu were satisfied by the Gopal deity. Text 42 This is the way of Lord Gopal's kind behavior to his devotees. Seeing this, the devotees were overwhelmed by ecstatic love. 43. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was very eager to see Gopal, but he did not want to climb Govardhan Hill. Therefore, by some trick, the Gopal deity personally descended. 44. In this way, giving some excuse, Gopal sometimes remains in the bushes of the forest and sometimes he stays in a village. One who was a devotee comes to see the deity. Text 45 The two brothers, Rupa and Sanatan, did not climb the hill. To them also, Lord Gopal granted an interview. In ripe old age, Srila Rupa Goswami could not go there, but he had a desire to see the beauty of Gopal. 47 Due to fear of the Muslims, Gopal went to Mathura, where he remained in the house of Vitaleshwar for one full month. Purport When the two brothers, Srila Rupa Goswami and Sanatan Goswami, went to Vrindavan, they decided to live there. Following Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's example, they did not climb the hill because they considered it non-different from Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. On some pretext, the Gopal deity granted Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu an audience beneath the hill, and Gopal similarly favored Srila Rupa Goswami and Sanatan Goswami. During his ripe old age, when Rupa Goswami could not go to Govardhan Hill because of invalidity, Gopal kindly went to Mathura and remained at the house of Bhitaleshwar for one month. It was then 
that Srila Rupa Goswami could see Gopal's beauty to his heart's content. The following description concerning Vitaleshwara is given in the Bhakti Radnakar, fifth wave. Sri Balababhata had two sons. The elder, Gopinath, was born in 1432, Shakabda era. A.D. 1510 and the younger Vitaleshwara was born in 1437 A.D. 1515 and died in 1507 A.D. 1585 Vitaleshwara had seven sons Giridhara Govinda Balakrishna Gokulesh Raghunath Yadunath and Ganesham Vitaleshwara completed many of his father's unfinished books, including his commentary on the Vedanta Sutra, the Subodini commentary on Srimad Bhagavatam, Vidvan Mandana, Sringara Rasamandana, and Nyasa Desha Vivarana. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went to Vrindavan before the birth of Vitaleshwara. As previously mentioned, Srila Rupa Goswami was very old at the time Gopal stayed at the house of Vitaleshwara. Text 48 Srila Rupa Goswami and his associates stayed in Mathura for one month and saw the Gopal deity. 49 When Rupa Goswami stayed at Mathura, he was accompanied by Gopal Bhatta Goswami, Raghunath Das Goswami, Raghunath Bhatta Goswami and Lokanath Das Goswami. Purport Sri Lokanath Goswami was a personal associate of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and a great devotee of the Lord. He was a resident of a village named Talakadi in the district of Yashohar, Jessore, in Bengal. Previously, he lived at Kancha Dapada. Kancha Dapada. His father's name was Padmanabha, and his only sibling was a younger brother named Pragalba. Following the orders of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Sri Lokanath went to Vrindavan to live. He established a temple named Gokulananda. Sri Lanartam Das Thakur selected Lokanath Das Goswami to be his spiritual master. And Artham Das Thakur was his only disciple. Because Lokanath Das Goswami did not want his name mentioned in the Chaitanya Charitamrita, we do not often see it in, his cele- in this celebrated book. On the EBR railroad road, the Yashohara station is located in Bangladesh. From the railway station, one has to go by bus to the village of Sonakali and from there to Kejura. From there one has to walk or, during the rainy season, go by boat to the village of Talakadi. In this village, there are still descendants of Lokanath Goswami's younger brother. 50. Bugarbha Goswami, Sri Jiva Goswami, Sri Yadava Acharya and Govinda Goswami also accompanied Srila Rupa Goswami. He was also accompanied by Sri Uddhava Das, Madhava, Sri Gopal Das, and Narayana Das. Text 52 The great devotee Govinda, the great, de- Govind, the great, de- the great devotee Govinda, Vani Krishna Das, Puntarikaksha, Ishan, and Lago Haridas also accompanied him. Purport Lago Haridas should not be confused with Junior Haridas, who committed suicide at Prayag. Generally, a devotee is called Haridas, and consequently, there are many Haridases. The chief was Takur Haridas. There was also a Madhyam Haridas. In the Bhakti Raknakar, sixth wave, there is a list of many of the chief devotees who accompanied Srila Rupa Goswami. 
The following Vaishnavas were present with Srila Rupa Goswami, the merciful Gopal Bhatta Goswami, Bhugarbha Goswami, Sri Lokanath Das Goswami, a reservoir of good qualities, Sri Madhava, Sri Paramananda Bhattacharya, Sri Madhu Pandit, whose characteristics are all wonderful, Premi Krishna Das, Krishna Das Brahmachari, Yadava Acharya, the merciful Narayana, Sri Pundari Kaksha Goswami, Govinda, Ishan, Sri Govinda, the magnanimous Vani Krishna Das, Sri Uddhava, who occasionally visited, visited Bengal, Dvija Haridas, Krishna Das Kaviraj, Sri Gopal Das, whose body is completely spiritual. Sri Gopal, Madhava, and many others. Large entourage. Text 53. It was with great jubilation that Rupa Goswami visited Lord Gopal, accompanied by all these devotees. After staying in Mathura for one month, the Gopal deity returned to his place and Sri Rupa Goswami returned to Vrindavan. So I will, by the mercy of the Vaishnavas and their permission, close the reading for tonight. Today I took a journey to Dover and got a, a what we call a flu jab <laughs> that I was offered by the NHS for free. And uh, that was the first time I've kind of like gone out and walked with my crutches in, in, in round places and it was a little uh, intense. So I will stop the reading for tonight. <clears throat> uh, Anyone who has any reflections or discussion or comments, please be our guest. <clears throat> We're going to read just the the comments that have questions or reflections for tonight. Thank you. Hare <clears throat> Krishna. <clears throat> Hare Krishna And I just want you all to know that I read every one of your uh, blessings that you give me and that you glorify Srila Prabhupada Thank you very much Is there a comment from Yadutama? Yadutama, comment, okay He says Dear Gurudev, my obeisance is to you and all glories to Prabhupada. Thank you for always keeping the purifying waters of Sri the Prabhupada's purports and translations flowing. We are so lucky to have your daily association. Thank you so much. Makes my day every day. You're not the only one who gets relief. <laughs> I get the most relief. <laughs> I don't think I could live without it. That was the worst part of that, you know, hospital visit and the, the major surgery and the, anyway, what I'm going through, the recovery. But the, the worst thing was not being able to read Chaitanya Charitamrita to you during that few weeks. But all the Vaishnavas are so loyal and so attached and so advanced actually that uh, they were all there and as soon as I started to read you all came back and it was like I'd never stopped the nature of spiritual relationships and spiritual activities 
is they never end Hare Krishna therefore they give full satisfaction to the soul Sudhavi Dasi says Hare Krishna Maharaj please accept my humble obeisances thank you for being here trying to wake me up and save me from my own mind <laughs> yeah we all have one of those don't we in this material world we came here and we got one and since we've been in this material world, that mind has been accumulating uh, memories of all the different sensual perceptions we've had through all of our senses. And that's what's covering us. So that's a formidable uh, obstacle. But the pastimes of Lord Chaitanya and the holy name of the Lord and the pastimes of Lord Krishna dissolve that subtle body for sure and therefore even though we may still have a mind and we still have to battle with it sometimes we know who Krishna is by the mercy of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Srila Prabhupada we know and that makes us rare in this world we just went over to Dover today and we saw so many people and not one of them had the foggiest idea. <laughs> Therefore, we should really, really count our blessings and and be satisfied knowing that we know the source of the absolute truth. We know where to go to get it. Very rare. Good fortune. Mahabhagya, greatest fortune. Hare Krishna. Krishna Premavati says, Thank you, Maharaj, for the flow of nectar. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Premavati. Samrati Manjari, she says, My best wishes and prayers for your successful healing. Thank you so much, Rati. Thank you very much. And when I see you out there chanting your heart out and dancing in ecstasy and enlivening people in Harinam. I live vicariously through you. Hare Krishna. I've always said that and I'll continue to say it because it's true. Hare Krishna. Noel Craver says, Hare Krishna, dear Maharaj, and please accept my humble obeisances. Hare Krishna, Noel. So very grateful for you and these readings. Hare Krishna, thank you. To you too. Shantarupa Devi Dasi mm. says, All glories, dear Maharaj. Thank you for sharing your endless love for these readings. So purifying Srila Prabhupada ki jai. Jai Srila Prabhupada. Sri Taitanya Mahaprabhu ki jai. jai. And something more from Rati Manjari. Yes, Rati. She says, Dear Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. I was thinking how nice it is that just when Kartik is starting and devotees are starting Vraj Mandala Parikrama, we are hearing about Lord Chaitanya traveling through Vraj Mandala Dham. Especially sweet. Yes, I was thinking the same. I was thinking the same thing. Nothing better to do in Kartik than hear Chaitanya Charitamrita every day. We may not be able to do it like we normally do it in Govardhan, you know, with Vaisheshika Prabhu, five hours a day, but at least we can do this, you know, one hour a day and get the benefit. Something from Vrajaloka Devi Dasi. Hare Krishna Vrajaloka. She says, Hare Krishna, dear Guru Maharaj. Please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. All glories to your daily readings, which are giving us shelter and nourishing us day by day. Mm. Thank you for your kindness and care. I have one question and a reflection. In the 17th chapter, verse 233, it says, The whole world became merged in the inundation of the pastimes of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. 
one can swim in that water to the extent that he has the strength. Could you please explain what that means? That <laughs> one can swim in that water to the extent he has the strength? Yeah, it means that one can go as deep as one has the qualification or adhikar. The word is adhikar. Uh, um, but the import of that is that the pastimes of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu are as deep as the ocean and at the same time they're accessible to everyone. How much they can perceive uh, the subtle subtleties of the Lord's pastimes, that will depend on their spiritual qualification. But everyone, just by hearing these pastimes, becomes eligible for liberation, to be liberated from the material world and to, and to get love of God. So, yes, it's just like in a river, you know, if the, if the current is very strong, then only persons who are strong swimmers can swim there. Otherwise, they get uh, carried away by the, by the current. So, the pastimes of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu are, are not life-threatening, of course, but they can only be entered into uh, by pure devotees. And at the same time, they are the uh, means of achieving that goal. So whether we fully are fully conscious of it or not, uh, while we hear the pastimes of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu passing through the uh, lotus lips of Srila Prabhupada, uh, an eternal associate of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, uh, we become qualified. And as we hear again and again, more and more, we become more and more qualified. And when we become fully qualified, then we can perceive Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and all of his eternal associates in these pastimes while we're hearing them, in the sound. So that's just a little drop of what that means. I, I'm only qualified to, to say a drop. Hare Krishna. Comment from Triyuga Das. Hare Krishna Triyuga, the husband of Brajaloka. He says, Hare Krishna, dear Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. All glories to your amazing service. Thank you for the flow of thank you for the flow of nectar to us. Today, during listening to your readings, my mind really went to Govardhan. Amazing to hear the wonderful transcendental names of Rupa and Sanat and Goswami's companions. Thank you very much. Yes, I, I shared your experience. I was also going to Govardhan in my mind while I was reading. Because we stayed there for a long time. I, I lived there for years, refurbishing that ashram. In, in the building and the ashram and also the property and uh, I, I met a Sikh Krishna Prabhu Maharaj there and got to know him very well and now he's the Mahant of that Iskand Bhaktivedanta ashram and doing so well blossoming and I remember the days you know <clears throat> on the hot top roof of that building uh, watching the uh, silver glow of Govardhan in the, in the full moon at the end of Kartik and the Brajbasis who walk great distances to come and then walk all the way around Govardhan 
in jubilation, chanting and dancing. And it's just a wonderful experience. And there, there's so many of them, they're like completely covered. I mean, it, it looks like a, a, a garland that's alive, colorful garland that's alive, circumambulating the hill and so many wonderful realizations we had over the years we've, we've lived there. I pray for the day when I can uh, never leave Govardhan inside my heart. Hare Krishna. When or oh when will that day be mine? Virgin Loka Devi Dasi says, Thank you very much for this beautiful answer. Hare Krishna. And yeah, we, we heard that if one bathes just once, I bathed many times, but when I became not so, not so easy for me to go there because of physical problems, but one time I went there in 1989. And it was Kar it was uh, Ekadasi in June, very hot. And we fasted near Jao, and we went around and, and bathed in every single kund, and took a leisurely walk around Govardhan. Sometimes devotees go very fast, four hours, five hours. Some of the Oli Olympic champions, three and a half hours. <laughs> But uh, I remember, I'll never forget, at the end of that, not the end, or towards the end of the Parikrama, I went and sat just, be not, just beneath Raghunath Das Goswami's Samadhi in Kund and just sat there. And it was so nice. I felt like I had never not been there. It was such a wonderful experience. And I know that uh, I got eternal, immense benefit from that bathing so I understood when I was when we were reading the text I wonder I understood if you just bathe once very deeply appreciating and, and tasting and during that experience it was so hot and you know near Jalakadasi and I think it, the Prikrama took like 12 hours and uh, when we were bathing in the Kund it felt so wonderful. I can never I can't explain what it felt like because it was beyond words. But uh, yeah, I think I became eligible to live there at that time. That was 1989, and I moved there in 1994. Anyway, there's a whole story behind that. Someday, when I have more time, I will tell you. But right now, I'm going to have to stop. I'm over my quota, and it's time for me to get off my back. Okay, so thank you so much, everyone. Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita Ki Jai. Gaur Premanandi Hari Hari Bo Samabeda Bhakta Brinda Ki Jai. We'll see you tomorrow night, uh, third day of Kartik. Uh, same place, same station, here in the, here in the Haven, in Hive next to the Yamuna, or I mean English Channel. And uh, yeah, Hare Krishna. See you tomorrow. Hare Bo. Glory, glory to Prabhupada.